Genesis. Show my hardcore is. What's up, freaks, beasts, and athletes? It's DC here with dclayborn.com, home of Genesis Strength and Conditioning. Have you ever asked yourself if you are really, you know, have the genetics to, to, to build muscle? Um, you know, a lot of people kind of always seem to struggle uh, packing on that size. You know, people refer to them as hard gainers, um, ectomorphs, kind of whatever, you know, whatever the term is that's being thrown around these days. Uh, but have you ever looked and kind of asked yourself, do you have genetics to build muscle? You know, if you're watching this video, if uh, you look at your parents and they're not jacked, if they're the if they're not the people who just you know don't really do anything but still have that muscle that muscle size and just the you know always seem to be strong no matter what they do then you know if you don't have that then you're probably not and you know no you don't have the genetics but that's not a huge deal yes training is going to be harder yes there are going to be people that you work out with who do have the genetics they're predisposed to being able to build muscle and yes it's very frustrating when you do train with those people and yes i hate you if you are that way but if you are that way you're probably not watching this video to begin with or following along kind of the stuff that i do um, but you know if you are if you don't have those uh, you know those genetics it's you know it's going to take some harder work but if you train correctly, if you do everything else that's, that's needed to be done, you can kind of kick genetics in the butt, throw them to the curb, and get the results that you need. Will you maybe be Mr. Olympia? You know, probably not. Uh, but you will definitely still be able to get a great physique. If you don't have those uh, genetics, then here's a few tips just to make sure that you are getting the most out of your training, uh, nutrition, and uh, you know just daily schedule so you have your best opportunity to build muscle. Uh, you know, tip number one is train correctly. You know, the biggest thing that I see hard gainers or the the biggest problem that I see happening with hard gainers or guys that are just desperate to put on muscle is they actually work out way too much. You know, these are the guys that you never see get bigger. They're in the gym four, five, six days a week, cranking out anything and everything they can do, the newest training program with no results to show from it. A lot of my online clients, they kind of, uh, you know, send me hateful emails because whenever they're the, whenever I have take someone on who, you know, really struggles to gain muscle, the first thing that I do is take a look at their training program and typically send them one back that only has them in the gym two days a week. Uh, you know, that you may freak out and be like, if I'm only lifting two days a week, how am I gonna build muscle? But you have to think about it that, you know, two days a week in the gym, if you give, if you give it all and really push yourself in those two days, then you're gonna need the other days off to recover. Training, or getting bigger, gaining muscle, uh, adding size is not done in the gym. That is just the basic stimulus and adding size and getting stronger and packing on those pounds of, of muscle comes from the recovery and comes from the days off to allow the body to heal, the body to uh, you know adjust to the, the training stimulus and the progression that you do in the gym. So think of it, less days in the gym, good solid hard training sessions while you're in the gym, but if you're uh, struggling to build weight or struggling to gain weight or build muscle and you're training more than three days a week, then cut it back. You know, I can pretty much guarantee that if you take a month and only train twice a week, but really go after it with compound lifts, you will end up packing on a lot more size than you ever thought possible. Uh, along those lines, if you're only training two to three days a week, that is going to give you the extra recovery that you need. Make sure that you're sleeping enough. Make sure that you're doing recovery tactics, you know, like contrast showers or contrast baths. Uh, you're stretching, you're, you're staying flexible, you're hammering mobility, stuff that's going to promote blood flow, you know, soft tissue work, foam roll, uh, massage therapy, stuff that's going to get the, you know, get the muscles recovered, get them healed, get them growing so you can kind of overlook genetics and continue to get results. And then yes, you're going to have to eat. Uh, you know, no. This doesn't mean you can go eat anything and everything because there's been too many times that I've seen hard gainers, you know, kind of go with the uh, just the C diet, which is if you see it, you eat it, and they may end up putting on five, 10 pounds, but it ends up being fat. They don't look any different. They don't fit any different than their shirts, and they just end up with a spare tire around their already skinny, uh, you know, kind of weak selves uh, that they, makes them even more frustrated. So eat quality calories, eat more, 
you know, if you're still not gaining weight, keep adding more calories in. Yes, if you're a hard gainer, you can afford the extra cheat meal here and there compared to someone who's, you know, who seems to pack on weight a little easier. But make sure those quality calories come from, you know, high quality fats, high quality carbs, uh, you know, protein, good quality sources, beef, chicken, pork, you know all the deals, eggs, egg yolks, uh, grass-fed butter, cheese, you know, sweet potatoes, white rice, all that stuff. Just keep adding it in and then, you know, Add in the, uh, a, junk, a junk food meal here or there to kind of help get you over the top, but don't focus on just empty calories. Make sure they're quality. So hopefully that kind of helps you, uh, you know, tell genetics to go screw themselves and uh, get you the results that you want no matter how you start out or if you are technically classified as a hard gainer or, uh, or ectomorph. You know, hit that subscribe button above. Check out the links below. I got some free gifts for you guys. Now you know, knowing's half the battle. Genesis. Show my hardcore is, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yo.